Makanda is a semi-arid town located in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. It is the economic hub of Makanda local municipality and is home to approximately 82,000 people. It is also home to Rhodes University and the National Arts Festival, which is the largest arts festival on the African continent. As we know, water quality and water scarcity are major concerns in Southern Africa. The current drought in South Africa and rainfall variability has exposed the brittle nature of this country's resilience to water shortages. As a semi-arid town, demand for water is high and the town is plagued with inadequate water supply services issue. In this short film, we take a look at one of the change projects that aim to effect change within the local community to improve the health and quality of river water. Water is life, and without water, we cannot sustain life. And the number one source of all our water, fresh water, comes from rivers. Unfortunately, rivers in today's modern society are the most polluted. They are under siege by pollution, sewage, alien invasives, and a host of other problems. One way in which we decided to protect rivers in Makanda, South Africa, is by empowering local communities, by giving them the tools of science, creating citizen science, and thereby doing the mini sas method they are able to find out the cocos and nunus in the water and understand how good the quality of the river is. By doing that, they can now make strategies put in place that they can go to their local councillors, go to municipalities and try to stop the pollution at the source. Uh, this empowers and mobilizes youth, empowers communities and thus we create a more healthier society for all, including the ecosystem. Our work as River Rescue really started kicking off in 2019. Since then, we have done numerous river rescue projects, which involves community members and high school children going along the rivers and cleaning up the rivers as they go. I started to speak with the children and I explained to them, this is the air river, this is water. It was clean years ago, and now it looks like that. So, every session, every second set, uh, weekend, Saturday, we come and clean up. And then after the clean up, we have a little session with the kids and explain to them, to them what's, what's about, where it goes and where it comes from. So while we're cleaning, they're actually letting us know what is actually happening to the river ecology. And this is part of the project, cleaning up the river, encouraging environmental awareness, um, accelerating youth de development, and trying to get them to have a more deeper sense of place to connect to the river. We also do mini SAS activities along the river uh, once it's clean enough. And then we also see the quality of the river and how else to improve it and the, and the condition. The impact has been better. Uh, and then because of apathy, uh, it went back to the state. So it's almost like there needs to be a shift in mindset. If you've got hands, a head, and a heart full of love, they let you come in. I'm very privileged to be here. Uh, we found a crab, we found a frog. There was significance that was further down. The reason why we're finding animals further down is because the river is replenishing itself. So if you want to know about impact, the impact is that the little that we do allows the river to replenish itself to rejuvenate itself and reacclimatize itself. So uh, these little bits of magic that we are doing are going a long way towards just healing the spirit of the entire earth. But now we're starting from the grassroots, we say it can happen from the bottom up, but we also need from the top down eventually. And then together there will be impact. Our impact here is really to shift the mindsets of people, to say that this is not a dump, this cannot be a, a, sewer, a sewerage um, uh, a deposit for us. This is a river, this is a life giver, you know, it's the essence of life as we know it. One of the main impacts this change project is trying to achieve is a clean flowing river in the community. Unfortunately, there are a lot of problems to overcome before that can become a reality. As you have seen, the amount of waste that is continuously dumped at different sites of the river and the lack of waste collection from the local municipality are serious issues from a health, environmental and social point of view. Through awareness raining campaigns amongst the communities, the Change Project aims to accelerate local level action to put pressure on the local government to respond to these issues. The dire state of most pumping stations and sewer systems that are spilling raw sewage into the rivers means that pumps and structures need to be fixed. This will complement the achievement of a clean river from the source to the mouth of the Blokrans River. 
And if Makanda River rescuers can achieve it in this stretch of our river, then surely we can achieve this across all river networks in South Africa. Hopefully, this is the bigger dream that we can all achieve with this current generation of eco-warriors.